Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to divide a decimal by a one-digit whole number. Now decimals and division show up all throughout math and really throughout life as well. So being able to work with decimals and solve division problems involving decimals will be beneficial no matter what class, level of math, or goal you are working towards. Whatever your situation may be, this should be helpful in better understanding how to divide decimals. Let's jump into number one, where we have 78 and 3 tenths divided by 9. The first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to set this problem up. That way we can go through the division process. 78 and 3 tenths is the dividend, the number we are dividing. That goes under the division bar. 78 and 3 tenths divided by 9. 9 is the divisor, the number we are dividing by. It always goes on the outside of the division bar. Now whenever we have a division problem involving decimals, we always need to check. Is the divisor a whole number? Well, 9 is a whole number. That means we bring our decimal straight up into our answer. So it's going to place the decimal in our answer. So again, always check. Is the divisor a whole number? If yes, bring the decimal straight up. Now we go through our division process, the same exact process we use when we divide whole numbers. So divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, repeat. Let's start with divide. So we have seven divided by nine. How many whole groups of nine in seven? Well, we can't do that. So we need to look at the seven and the eight. So we have 78 divided by nine. How many whole groups of nine in 78? Well, eight, that gets us to 72. Make sure to put the eight above the eight in 78, not above the seven. We used both the seven and eight and did 78 divided by nine. So again, that eight needs to go above the eight. Now we multiply eight times nine, 72. Subtract 78 minus 72 is six. Bring down, now we have 63 and we repeat. So we go back to divide. 63 divided by nine. How many whole groups of nine in 63? Well, seven. And that hits 63 exactly. Seven times nine, 63. Subtract, 63 minus 63 is zero. We went all the way over to the furthest place to the right, which was the tenths place for this problem. And we have a clean cut zero here at the end. So we are done. Eight and seven tenths. Now for number two, we're going to see what happens when we don't get that clean cut zero at the end and we need to extend the problem until we do get that clean cut zero. Let's move on to number two where we have 43 and 66 hundredths divided by four. We will start by setting this problem up and I'm going to come to the side here because this one will need a little more room than number one did. So 43 and 66 hundredths is the dividend, the number we are dividing. We are dividing by four. That is the divisor, the number we are dividing by. Is the divisor a whole number? Yes, so bring the decimal straight up into the answer. Now we go through our division process. Start with divide. So we have four divided by four. How many whole groups of four in four? One, now we multiply. 1 times 4, 4. Subtract, 4 minus 4, 0. Now we bring down, so we have 3, and we repeat, so we go back to divide. 3 divided by 4, how many whole groups of 4 in 3? Well, we can't do that, so we need a 0. Now we multiply, 0 times 4, 0. Subtract, 3 minus 0, three. Bring down. Now we have 36 and we repeat. So divide. 36 divided by four. How many whole groups of four in 36? 
9. That hits 36 exactly. Multiply 9 times 4, 36. Subtract 36 minus 36 is 0. And then bring down that 6. We have 6 there and we repeat. So go back to divide. 6 divided by 4. How many whole groups of 4 in 6? 1. Multiply 1 times 4. 4. Subtract 6 minus 4 is 2. We went all the way over to the furthest place to the right, the hundredths place, but we have a 2 at the end. We do not have a clean cut 0 yet. That 2 does not mean remainder 2 like when we work with whole numbers. This answer is in decimal form, so we need to keep it that way. What we can do is extend this problem until we do get a clean cut 0, and that's when we will have our final answer. We can do this by using placeholder zeros that we can bring down. Let's use a placeholder zero in the thousandths place that we can bring down. Remember, zeros to the right of a decimal do not change the value of that decimal, so we're not changing the value of the problem at all. Let's bring this zero down, and we have 20, so we can repeat and go back to divide. So we have 20 divided by 4. How many whole groups of 4 in 20? Well, 5, and that hits 20 exactly. Multiply. 5 times 4 is 20. Subtract, and we get that clean cut 0. Our final answer, 10 and 915 thousandths. So there you have it. There's how you divide decimals by one digit whole numbers. Always check, is the divisor a whole number? In this video, yes, the divisors were whole numbers. So we brought that decimal straight up into our answer and then went through the division process. I will cover what to do when the divisor is not a whole number in other videos. Those links are down in the description. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.